Right, come on then. Let's turn those hips out of the way. Ah, oh, there it is. The big slicey one, massively out to in swing path. Club face wide open. And are you one of those golfers that just hits that shot time and time again? But because it's mentioned so much about we need to turn out the way in the golf swing, maybe if I told you that that's what's actually killing the start of your downswing, and by moving correctly at the start of the downswing, we're going to get rid of that slice, maybe even get you hitting some baby draws. Now, I know what you're thinking, it can't be that simple, can it? So let's initially understand what is causing the slicey one, and even the one that ends up straight, almost a bit of a glancing blow that doesn't really hit the ball very far. So particularly when we look from this angle. So the ball sets off very close to where the club face points, and the shape of the shot is the path of the club, which is the direction the club is traveling at impact with the golf ball. And it can only go straight at impact, left or out to in, or to the right from the inside. And I think most golfers are aware that if they're slicing the golf ball, the path is out to in, and that club face is pointing right to the path, maybe at target, but still open to the path. So what we tend to see with golfers is, and when I stand on swing catalyst pressure plate here, this shows me how I move against the ground. And the kind of sequence we should generate at the start of our downswing should be that as we're getting towards the top, we should move laterally towards the target. Then our body should start to twist into the ground and then we should get a little bit of a push into the ground. Now, most golfers do these three things, but when we change the way we think, sometimes we get the sequence a little bit incorrect. And what I will see with most golfers is because they're so bothered about turning the hips out of the way on the downswing, they don't get enough of that side to side movement. So if I go to the top of my backswing and then just turn my hips out of the way, so I get that twist into the golf swing, we can see where the golf club is going to go. It's going to go out and then back inside. So if I, again, I were to really exaggerate that. It's a better strike, but it's even more exaggerated, 11 degrees out to in, good speed, nine degrees open, and a carry of only 145 yards. Now, comment below, are you one of those golfers who feels there's lots and lots of speed, but you don't get the speed from the club head to the golf ball. So what we need to do with you is kind of turn up the volume on how we get moving side to side so that the body can then twist. And the reason being, if I get to the top and move side to side, you will notice how the club wants to drop down behind the body, which then allows the twist to get you back online and that should massively change the path you swing the golf club on. So we want to feel that as we're going back, we're going to be pushing that foot into the floor. So you can let that leg straighten a bit more on the way back and then push off that foot towards the target and do a few practice swings. And you'll definitely feel that the club wants to drop down behind you a little bit more. Now, like everything, do a few practice swings, get that feel. Now, what I would say is if you're not a slicer of the golf ball and you're somebody who pushes it, hooks it, draws it too much, you might be the opposite of this. You might not want to move so much side to side. You might want to feel like you're twisting or turning out the way a little bit earlier. So I'm going to try and increase my side to side movement, move towards the target more. Now straight away felt very, very different. Now club head speed's gone up. My path is now four degrees from the inside. Club face was slightly closed, which I appreciate a different club face position as well, but suddenly a carry of 185. Now, obviously that's a huge change. And I think for most golfers, even doing the little step drill can be great. A feeling from there, swing back, when the hands get to chest height, step across and then go. 
and you'll feel how aggressive that movement is. You then get the feet apart and again, build pressure under the right foot, shift towards the target. And it's such a different feeling. And we can see there, 89 mile an hour. So club head speed going up more and more. Path from the inside, closed club face, carry distance at 180. Now, obviously we're seeing the difference in the delivery with Trackman there. I'm now gonna show you one where I just turn my hips out of the way, and then a swing where I get that side-side -side movement on swing catalyst just so you can understand, and maybe for you guys who enjoy the scientific stuff, see the difference in pressure and how when I move differently into the ground and against the ground, I can really change the way I swing the golf club. Okay, so we can see the out to in swing on the left, the in to out swing on the right hand side. So very similar at address and just visually just putting those two lines on there. So we can see as we move the club away, on the right hand side, this graph here is showing how much more pressure I'm pushing into that right foot, where we can see not really a great deal on that one. Then as we get to the top, we see a bigger push, kind of 11% is the maximum of my body weight against 9%. So we see a nice early shift Actually, because there's more energy, there's more into the twist on the right-hand side. But we can see there the club dropping down behind me, whereas this one is still decent, but probably a little on the steep side. Club working certainly more this way on the right-hand side, and on this one working much more left through impact. And even though both decent looking golf swings, just lots more energy in this one on the right hand side. And that's why the ball's going further, but also curving from right to left. Whereas this one's that glancy blow with the left to right shape. Right, so you can see there, subtle differences, nice differences, but hugely different with delivery. And I appreciate when you play golf, you don't get the feedback from something like Swing Catalyst, something like Trackman. But you do see the difference in the shape of the shot and you massively see the difference in distance that you're hitting the golf ball. And anybody who's getting up to the top of the backswing, whose swing thought is turn those hips out of the way, we can see the hands are coming out here and then working across. And if you close that club face, you're just gonna get big pulls, maybe pull hooks. And you don't see many golfers do that, they just fight like mad to try and keep the club at target. So remember, if you're a slicer of the golf ball, we wanna feel that on the way back, press down into that right foot so that you can push off that foot, move towards the target. So you're actually pushing this way in the ground, move towards the target, the club's gonna drop down and then you can release the golf club. So if you are a slicer of the golf ball, you should start seeing more of this. So even though that wasn't a great strike, 89 mile an hour club head speed, path six degrees from the inside, club face a little bit more closed, but a lovely right to left shape and 181 yard carry. Now, even though the title of the video was very much aimed towards maybe the slice of the golf ball, if you are the drawer or the hooker of the golf ball, a bit more like I used to be, I always had lots and lots of sideways movement. So I actually want to feel a little less of that and my twist a little earlier. And if I can get that feeling for me, we can see there, great club head speed for me at nearly 90 mile an hour. Club path slightly out to win, 0 0.6 degrees. Club face two and a half degrees closed and 182 yards carry. So not my perfect shot, but for me, I love the fact that the ball doesn't curve as much in the air now. So I don't need to be aiming too far right. And for you slices of the golf ball, you're not gonna aim left. You might even be able to aim a little right for the baby draw, but got to start that downswing correctly. And it's something like 99% of tour players start their downswing 
with that big move towards the target. There's only one, maybe two that don't. Comment below if you know who they are. But if you can get that side to side movement, then you can turn out the way. You're gonna start hitting the ball further. Get rid of that little slicey, glancy blow. Maybe some baby draws, but most importantly, change the way you swing the golf club and hit much more high quality golf shots.